So hello, good afternoon. This is Mary from Best at English 3A. So for today's video, we were we will going to talk about the cave as represented by Plato and his allegory. So the first one is, what do this metaphor mean? Cave, shackles, shadows, light, and prisoner. The first one is cave. Plato present the cave as a metaphor for how humans live in a world contrasting reality with our understanding of it. These two themes represent the story's two worlds, within the cave and the outside. Shackles, the allegory of the cave, depicts on the human population defined to a gloomy cave. Shackles restrict the captive's movement allowing them to view just what is directly in front of them. Their perspective of the world is confined to the shadow on the cave walls and the echoes they hear. Okay, so next one is shadow. The shadow symbolizes a dis distorted view of reality, an illusion because the inmates have never seen the genuine items that exist in the world. The object that cast those shadow, they assume that shadow are all that exists. The next one is the light. So in the cave of metaphor, the instructor lead the prisoner out of the darkness and into the light, and light signifies truth. Education is perceiving the truth. Plato felt that you had to, I mean, Plato la felt that you had to want to learn new things. If you don't want to learn what is true, you can't compel them to. So the next one is prisoner. Plato, Plato um, uses the inmates in the cave to represent the individuals who do not understand the theory of forms. Such inmates would misinterpret appearance for reality. They would believe that the object they saw on the wall, like um, the shadow, were real. Um, they would be unaware of the true sources of the shadow. So the question number two is, Describe how the people in the cave are situated in Plato parable. What, I mean, why can't they move their legs or necks to take a look around? And what is the only thing they are capable of seeing? What is, what is their only source of light? So for this question, the individuals are trapped or the inmate are trapped in the underground cave unable to move their legs or necks I mean or necks to gaze about since they are shackled the only thing they can see are their own shadow the only source of light they have above and behind them is a distant fire so the next one is Question number three, what is the truth according to Plato in this allegory? Do you agree to Plato or not? So for, the, for um, this question, yes, I agree. Plato demonstrates how reality humans may be duped into believing that what they see and hear is so absolutely truth. In Plato's narrative, the people believe that the shadows they see on the cave walls are they i mean um the shadow they see on the cave walls are their whole existence and question number four from the allegory how the concept of appearance and reality were illustrated so in this question plato defines the physical world in the allegory of the cave as a black region um, where humans can only see objects via their senses, 
these items were referred by Plato as phenomena or weak forms of reality. As a result, people cannot get knowledge of genuine truth in a physical world. So the next um, question, I mean, it is the last question. What important lesson you learned from the allegory? So for me, um, the allegory looks on a philo philo philosophical concept of truth and how various people view is based on their experiences or backgrounds. The shadow on the cave wall change all the time. So there is no stability or consistency for those who view them. So um, only a false reality. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. And again, this is Mary from Best at English 3A. Thank you.